Hello everybody. This is my tips and tricks for Xenonauts. I tested these things out on uh, veteran difficulty and uh, they worked okay for me. So I'll give them to you guys if you're having any trouble fighting against these aliens. Okay, so my first tip is uh, prioritize high speed interceptor research. This should uh, give you Foxtrot Interceptor, which will be great. Also, I built quite a lot to my base. These are um, hangars, an additional living quarter, a research facility. And uh, what I will get is uh, double the amount on uh, researchers. And here we go. Let's hire some more scientists. This will help us to fight against the alien. We will use their own technology against them. Next tips and tricks will be us trying to intercept the aliens. Our radar have picked up some alien activity. Seems like a smaller perhaps a scout type of a, uh, alien aircraft. Um, let me tell you about the aliens. The main fleet of the alien are actually orbiting the planet and we believe that they are transforming into atmosphere suitable conditions. That is the only reason why we have this kind of a breeding chance. Now let's engage the first of the alien. We see they have a small aircraft. Our uh, fighter aircraft will uh, scatter. We'll see what will happen. By the looks of it, the aliens seems to be engaging directly other of our aircraft. This leaves the other fighter aircraft able to get to the side of the enemy, launch its missiles on optimal range, and there we go. We are able to take down the first of the aliens. Now, the next vital part. We will need to launch a ground mission to recover whatever we can about these aliens. This is very dangerous. But we will have to do it anyway. Any information, technology, all that, what we could recover of these aliens are vital for our survival. We will send our Charlie in and see what we can find out. To speed things up, the ground mission was skipped. But it was a great success. We actually did recover a lot of alien technology for us to research. Good thing we have a lot of those researchers now, right? So, next up, we have finished our research and now we have Foxtrot Interceptor. We're gonna immediately start building this thing and we're gonna need several of these. So that means our engineers will be very busy. We can actually hire some more of them so we're gonna do that we're gonna need to build uh, as much as we can uh, currently we are only able to defend a very small area of the planet we're gonna need to improve our performance and try to cover more areas we receive funding from worldwide so it's important to oh my what's going on South America is under an alien invasion. This was the worst case scenario. We, uh, well, we were fearing something like this might happen. Our funding from South America is going down. Hopefully we can change things. We just need more money from the funding countries. Nothing we can do about it right now. Let's focus 
where we can actually make a difference. We are going in with our brand new Foxtrot interceptors. And let's see, our finest pilots are at the work here. We're gonna try to... Yes, let's see what the aliens will do. Seems like they're taking the bait. This means that uh, the other Foxtrot here should be able to flank the enemy. Seems like it's all good. We gotta be a bit careful here. We are in optimal range already. We just need to drop our speed down here. And get to the directly side of the alien. We are really close, this is very dangerous. But let's launch those missiles. And another alien down. Seems like the strategy is working. Next up in uh, tips and tricks, we will take a look into the ground mission. And I have my guys here ready to breach an alien aircraft. Uh, the first move that we should make is to usually suppress the enemy. Uh, Unless we are totally certain, we can take them out. Heavy machine gun is a good option, but so is a flashbang. But be very careful when you use these flashbangs or heavy machine guns. You might suppress some of your own soldiers. Here we go. We actually succeeded there pretty well. Now all of our opponents are suppressed. All we have to do is to take these guys out one by one. In addition, you can also use this kind of a trick here. You can drop, for example, a shield and take a weapon in the hand. Dropping the shield does not cost any time units, so it's pretty good tactic. Okay, two of our opponents down. But we shouldn't be too greedy. That's why I waited the turn there. Just to get more time units and... Let's try this again. Again with the flashbang. Careful. Seems like our opponent is suppressed. We are good for approach. I go for close quarters and take the opponent down securely. Mission successful. No losses. Pretty good. You should try to do all you can that uh, you don't lose soldiers. Better armor is a one way to fight against aliens and uh, minimize the losses. But uh, the month has come to its end. It's time to take a look on monthly performance. It's hard to get all green performance during first month. Nearly impossible, perhaps. But uh, the main thing is that we survive. Now, with the new month, I would uh, try to improve our performance and choose a location for a new base. However, it will take 10 days to get the base operational and uh, by estimation before we get hangars and uh, radar up, well, uh, it's uh, roughly half a month. Before that, we better take some aliens down. And what do we have here? This is an entirely new type of uh, alien aircraft. Whenever you encounter a new type of uh, alien aircraft, they should be a priority mission. Take them down and do those ground missions. You will get more research to do after you have finished the ground mission. Now here my Foxtrots are closing in the enemy. 
They're gonna shoot the torpedoes off. And uh, I don't think the scout ship will be able to evade these. This is a difference between light and normal scout ship. And let's take a quick look on the mission. More ground mission tips here. Here I have a uh, guys moving up on the enemy. This guy here is wondering if he should throw a grenade at the enemy, but I am quite short on the time units, so I would be unable to make the escape. So my guy here, and this is actually a pretty good tip, he can throw the grenade over a fence against the opponents there. Now with our weapons, I wouldn't be able to fight against them. I'm only able to throw one grenade, however. Luckily, I have another shoulder close by. So we're gonna try to make a throw here. But we are out of time units. But I have uh, one trick on the sleeve. I'm gonna drop the weapon and then with hands free the grenade throw will be cheaper to do. Also, I should mention that you need to be one or two squares away from the wall. So you cannot be exactly next to the wall when you're throwing these grenades. Okay, so I hope those tricks will help you guys. Grenades will explode when you end the turn. Let's do that. One of our grenades was a absolutely perfect throw and uh, alien dies. Now, next up I still have quite a few of these enemies here. Uh, I'm actually gonna show a mistake I made here. I usually make a very careful approach with the shield it protects you directly in front of you and from the sides <laughs> but definitely not from behind so I wanted to make a side steps there and then approach the enemy uh, facing him with the shield but I failed and uh, my shoulder there took it very heavily so learn from my mistakes hope that helps you guys other than that that mission was a successful and it was a really critical that we succeeded there now here's the Central America base and this is my main base they're progressing pretty well now a bit later they were actually finished and I get to send some of uh, aircraft there already and uh, we're getting the Central America operational in a uh, month too and the mission we did we were able to discover alanium uh, research it and then we got alanium explosives now this will totally change your gameplay and uh, I'll just demonstrate uh, earlier we needed two Foxtrot to fire all their torpedoes against these aliens. Now we only need two torpedoes from one Foxtrot. So currently a single Foxtrot can take out a Scout alien ship. And let's take a look. The other guy was there just to secure the kill. But as you can see, the new alanium explosives absolutely changed the gameplay for us. Also, let me show one more trick. The Foxtrot can fly very, very far. So let's try to take down this alien, even if it's a very far away. It will probably escape the, yeah, out of the radar range. We're still gonna go chase it down. Our uh, first Foxtrot, however, 
runs out of fuel. We'll send another one. Maybe we'll succeed better here. And uh, yeah, we do get to see them a bit closer by here. Now we have to be pretty quick with this because we don't have much fuel left to fight against these guys. Hopefully this will be enough. Well, we have only eight seconds, but uh, as I demonstrated earlier, this is a absolute victory. So I take the auto resolve. Uh, this might be kind of a cheating, but I guess I showed you anyway. So yeah, I hope you like my tips and tricks. Still have uh, something to show. This is the third month. This is the monthly performance again. And uh, we have totally lost South America. But we don't have any uh, red performance anymore. This could be uh, explained uh, somewhat with the difficulty that we already lost South America. There's no way we can regain our status with South America anymore. The aliens are now the rulers there. Unfortunate event indeed. Nothing I could do there, I think. Well, I have one more tip. Uh, the game is about to be finished. Uh, the gameplay I was playing was currently beta. Uh, there will be a mod included into the game as a bundle. Uh, it's called Lore Plus. This is some fan-made uh, artwork that you can enable. I totally suggest you do because it's wow, it's just great. And also, you can find from the Xenonaut forums uh, Jace Lisi's armor packs. They are also a really nice graphical improvement. Uh, check it out if you want. I'll provide the links into the info. Uh, now, as the last thing I want to show, this is the third month, and I have the Alanium explosives. I'm gonna try to take down a Corvette with a two Condors. So let's see how that goes. Uh, I don't think you can actually pull this off if you don't have the aluminum explosives. But um, yeah, I'm going head on currently here against the fighters. And I should mention that the key Q uh, is like evade left and E is evade right and uh, yeah that's very handy when you want to control which side you want to evade you can also check the uh, keys in options and change these or whatever you want so I'm going to try to take these uh, fighter aircrafts down with only Gatling lasers which I also was able to research uh, much uh, do it to uh, because I had so much more researchers so looking good one down I need to take the other one down as well and there we go now all I have to do is uh, to wrestle with the Corvette see if I as you can see I was able to save all the missiles so I'm gonna try to flank my enemy here and I'm gonna play it a bit slow here so you, you guys can catch up with all the stuff okay we're getting right onto the target here we go, first missiles away. If those would have been torpedoes from Foxtrot, well, it would have been pretty devastating damage, but I think you still need two Foxtrots 
to get those missiles in. And let's see. My Condor that approached the target from behind is out of ammunition, out of missiles, and low on fuel. I'm gonna go head on and attack the Corvette. This is pretty dangerous. Again, I'm gonna go with uh, evasive maneuvers, shoot my missiles, start firing, and we're. This is actually pretty close. We are really close of taking it down. We are being shot at. At this range, it's really difficult to make any evasive anymore. So, but it was enough. And yeah, that's all I have for uh, tips and tricks. Um, I hope it helped. See you guys in the uh, next videos. See ya.